I know that a pretty significant chunk goes to the player pension, uh, and which is something that I always support, of course, but we have to remind ourselves that you only become eligible for, for pension when you are, what, 50 or 55. So you, you know, for a player that retires when he or she is 30, 35, he or she has to wait for 20 plus years to actually start receiving uh, and getting the benefits from that deal. And I think that um, it's obvious that that's probably one of the, the biggest uh, sources of income for tennis. You know, the broadcasting rights, the TV rights, and the data, uh, data and, and the betting. Um, you know, I think players are probably not either fully aware or maybe they just are not pushing enough for their fair share from the, from the betting. They are giving much more than they're receiving. They're literally receiving nothing from it. And they're giving their names that are run through various betting platforms, websites, etc. So billions and billions of dollars are circulating on a weekly basis from the tennis tournaments on different levels men and women and players are you know i feel you know in a very underprivileged position in regards to that situation so that's something that i feel like we need to talk about more we need to raise the awareness of, uh, about this issue to the players organize and structure in such a way where in this particular area players are not benefiting at all and giving way too much of their own value into this and the rest of the tennis ecosystem is obviously profiting from that and we just can't allow this to happen anymore and this is a very significant value and chunk of the money that is that is out there for players to um, to get a hold of